I wanted to talk a little bit about a theory I've seen floating around out there, and this has to do with Nintendo's game lineup in 2017 and comparing it to the lineup of games already announced for next year, 2022. If we look at both years' releases side by side, we can see that there are quite a few similarities. Look at all the similar titles we have here. First of all, the big one is Breath of the Wild, probably the biggest game released in 2017. And if we take a look ahead to 2022, Nintendo is targeting 2022 as the release year for the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Then if we take a look at some other titles, we can see that Splatoon 2 was released on Switch in 2017. Now we know that we're getting Splatoon 3, and when is that coming? 2022. Already we can see a similar pattern of releases here. Breath of the Wild in 2017, and then the sequel aiming for 2022, and Splatoon 2 in 2017, and the sequel Splatoon 3 aiming for 2022 as well. Another 2017 Switch game not pictured here is Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, the first Mario and Rabbids crossover title. And guess what's coming up in 2022? The sequel to that game, Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. This is yet another similarity in Nintendo releases from 2017 to 2022. With all these similarities it raises the question, is Nintendo lining up 2022 for a repeat of 2017? If this is true, then it's possible we might get a few more big releases in 2022. Just taking a glance at the list, two of the biggest games released in 2017 were Super Mario Odyssey and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now I think that there's a pretty good chance we'll get a new Mario game by 2022, whether that be a new 3D Mario or a new Mario Kart title. I'd find it hard to believe that Nintendo's not working on both of these titles currently and will have something to show in the near future. If it's the case that we get a new 3D Mario in 2022, or a new Mario Kart in 22, or perhaps both, that's another set of similarities between 2017 and 2022 when it comes to Nintendo Switch releases. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and ARMS also both released in 2017. We know Monolith Soft is likely working on some sort of RPG, so there is a good chance we could get Xenoblade 3 or some sort of new game from Monolith Soft by 2022 as well. And with ARMS release in 2017, this opens the door for a potential new IP coming in 2022 as well. If Nintendo really is gearing up for a repeat of 2017 in 2022, I'll be ecstatic, as I think 2017 was one of the best years for Nintendo in a long time, and probably the best year for video games ever. But looking at it this way, there is a concern. If Nintendo was gearing up for a repeat of 2017 in 2022, that's a lot of games to squeeze into one year. New Zelda, new Mario, new Mario Kart, a new IP, and a new Xenoblade game all in one year? It kind of seems like a little bit too much. But I wouldn't be so sure, as the recently announced Switch OLED for 2021 might have given us a clue on Nintendo's upcoming hardware plans that could make all these software releases make a little more sense. If we look back, the new 3DS released in 2015, which was a mid-generation hardware refresh, just like the Switch OLED we got recently announced. Then, the Switch, the follow-up handheld, released in 2017, two years later. If this same pattern is to be followed, the Switch OLED hardware refresh is releasing this year in 2021. So in two years time, it will be 2023. Is Nintendo loading up 2022 with big Switch games to effectively close out the console and gear up for the next generation of hardware? Is that why, if this theory holds true, we're getting a ton of new games in 2022? 2017 was a blowout year for Nintendo games, and it coincided with the Switch launch. And having been such a successful console, maybe Nintendo is looking to end the Switch with a bang as well. I know this is all speculation, and might seem really unlikely. Personally, I don't think this is necessarily the case, I think it's just a coincidence. But it's a cool idea nonetheless. Plus, there are some inconsistencies with this theory. For example, the last 2D Metroid release, Metroid Samus Returns released in 2017 as well. We are getting a new 2D Metroid, Metroid Dread, but that's releasing this year, in October of 2021. So in this case, the 2017 and 2022 connection theory doesn't really line up. Either way, I think it's fun to speculate, and it's quite an interesting coincidence that from what we know right now, these two years seem really similar in terms of software releases. What do you think about this theory? Do you think there's any credibility to it? Are you confident we'll get a new 3D Mario or new Mario Kart title in 2022? Do you think the hardware pattern is legit and we'll see the successor to the Switch in 2023? 
let me know down in the comments. And hit subscribe for more Nintendo speculation videos and discussion videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and keep it here for more quality Nintendo content.